Hi guys, Chef Sassy here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new, hi, I'm Chef, more popularly known as So Sassy or Chef Sassy MUA. Um, I am a beauty therapist where I specialize in makeup, lash extensions, microblading, full body waxing, brow lamination, and I am also the owner and curator of Sassiversity, Jamaica's very first seven day lash course and microblading course. And we are also working on brow lamination. So if you guys are ever interested in getting trained to do lashes, microblading, or brow lamination, hit us up, um, follow the page so you guys will be aware on when we have monthly classes as well as when we have our microblading and brow lamination classes dropping, all right? Um, if you guys are coming back to my channel, hey sassy one, thank you guys so much for tuning back in. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been pouring out on my videos, whether you watch or not. Big ups to you. You need to watch though, like, you need, you need a, you need to be watching these videos. You need to be. Yeah, we need to be watching those videos. All right, so okay, let's get started in this video. So as you guys can see by the title, um, I received some products from Gael. I think it's a local brand. Um, I really, really liked how they packaged their products and how their brand looks and feels and the whole aura of the brand. So big ups to you Gael and thank you so much for considering me as somebody to give your products to do a review on. Now, um, when I first saw Gael ever, I think it was on Instagram, but like I first saw them right across from Fontana on Waterloo Road on a billboard and I was like, ooh, this looks nice. I like how, you know, the aura feels of the brand and stuff like that. And it looks rich, it looks expensive. It looks like something that, you know, as a female, you'd want to be a part of and, you know, purchase. So I'm happy that you guys reached out to me. So big ups to you guys for that. All right, so I'm pretty much gonna just be doing a life update, stuff that, you know, I've been up to. Maybe just be rambling about something, but you know, just pretty much a life update on what's been popping as well as doing my makeup with the products that I received. So the first thing I wanna show you guys that I got was um, their Posse eyeshadow palette. It has 21 beautiful shades. It has matte, it has shimmer, and it has um, glitter shades. These are so beautiful. Um, if anybody is ever interested in getting a versatile eyeshadow palette, this is really good because it has black, it has all the browns, the mauves, it has a really bomb ass blue and gold and shimmer. Like, it has everything. Like, if you're starting up, if you just decide, say, you want to buy an eyeshadow palette and just be festive with your life. Posse. Okay. The Posse palette by Gael. All right, so the other thing we're going to jump in that we got from them were, were their loose pigments. Now, we got, I got three bomb shades. Um, we have Unleashed, Wild, and Peacockish. I really like that Peacockish name. It's, it's, yeah, it's our true representation of the colors of a peacock. Shade Unleashed is a nice purpley color. It's purple iridescent color. I really love it. It's on the mild side though. It's not as bright as the others that we have. So I think this is honestly the mildest shade. The color Wild, the pigment Wild. It's on the mild side as well, but you know, these are definitely buildable. I'm just doing one swatch right here. Peacockish, it's a greenish shade. I really like this one. This is like probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I could do a look, like maybe just have them topping off something, but definitely. I like, I like, I like the pigment. The other product that I really truly like and I actually tried from before we start the video. Um, I've actually used it twice, so I really really like it. You know what I say? 
here and one other thing that i really love about it is that it's the longevity of it is amazing now this is the boss bros by girl and it's in it's the mocha um palette i don't know what you would call this but pretty much i know that it helps for the for the hold and then you have the color over here that you want um but this when I first swiped it and I was like, why it feels so oily? Is it supposed to feel so oily? But then trust me, you see later down in the day when you actually wash off your face, you can know why it was the way it was. And you can definitely like, like, you ever wonder why I'm right so. What I found out, you have to, you can't just wash your face and expect it to come off. You have to use a makeup remover. So I think I was using the Garnier makeup remover. So I had to use the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, that really removed it. So if you guys are ever interested, forget this. Just know say I forgot to have something like that for removal. Because if you just wash your face, no soap will help, my dear. At Maybe you can tell me if a soap that you use, but the soap for me have, it never budget. Mm -hmm. um, it came with a cute little spoolie, as well as um, an angled brush, I can't find it anywhere. An angled brush um, to use for the, the brow color. So definitely tap into that, okay. I also received two matte lipsticks. Now this, brown shade is so beautiful um it is called joyce that's the name of the shade um it's a really brown um color that i am absolutely in love with i cannot wait to try it um and i tried i tried it on my foot one time just to do a swatch and it was so beautiful so it has like a red undertone uh but it is beautiful guys um and the other color is sycamore tree big up you Larissa with the sycamore tree yeah um this kind of have a vibe kind of you know match my hair and thing not sure which one i'll be ending the video with but i not like that color here have a buzz okay and i love the applicator the lip applicator is beautiful it have a sink in it perfect for your lip uh it's not just like a regular it have that little sink there it just carve out your lips i love that and i was trying to remove this after it dried and it was a white it it like i rubbed it i put pressure on it i applied pressure and now like you it will not move so i'm going to be doing a wear test today i'm going to be tightening my braces and i'm going to be coming back and letting you guys know what is the wear test of this these lipsticks but it was warm when my habit when my swatch it my food yeah that's all i received from guy Health. thank you guys so much as, as i said again for considering me let's jump into the life update as well as me doing what i do best well one of the things that i do best okay as you guys can see i just got a new nurse piercing so that's what's new um check that video out up here um so i have to be hopping and skipping around it so far it's not that bad um i mean i remember when i just got it done i'm not like to you like forget some of it and i'm gonna do my client i'm gonna know that each member comes up Woo! what a mess it was for me to recover from that Oh, thank God. I mean, I have no sores usually when I see people do them, you know. Usually when I see people do them, them, them nose are wet. I'm always see like a bump beside it. And I was like, thank God I not experience them foolishness. They become, I don't know what I do. That not look cute. That not cute. Anyways, I'm using the Cover FX Blurring Primer in these areas here because I have large pores. foundation that i'm going to be using is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear other in other great news i signed my lease for my shop and i am moving um in at the well the third week 
of May. I'm here with Yeah, the third week of May. Um, I'm excited about that. I have uh, spent sleepless nights, guys, and like looking for decoration for the new spot. I'm just so excited about that because when I like to you, I've always dreamt of having my own space. So this is just like something that I'm really looking forward to. You know, when I really like to drop the gun anymore with like showing off not before anything is too finalized. Not that it's not, because you know, I signed a lease and everything, pay my first month um, deposit and everything, but for sure knowing me get the keys i get two weeks to decorate so i'm excited to show you guys the space like mad excited um it's at 800 and something square feet um i'd be renting it to to um two lash artists so if you guys know anybody who is interested who needs that space let me know um, I think I already have one person, but you know, I'm not fully sure. Um, but definitely, let me know if you guys know anybody who needs a spot. I'm actually thinking of hiring a assistant, but I do have like I've never really had that. I've only had that like one time. And that was in December when I was crammed with clients and it's like I just don't know anymore I mean it was a really good experience for me but for me for do that again it has to be with somebody with, with somebody who has been practicing lash extensions you know and you know we more not that they don't know what they, not, not that the person didn't know what they were doing but she was a student of mine and she had a lot of stuff on her plate so she was really per se focusing only on lashes so it kind of really really um you can really see where that she wasn't practicing because you know my girl my student she have whole heap of things for her place she have, a, she have whole heap of businesses so i guess lash extension wasn't something you know and that's okay that's okay and that's why uh, you have to try out things so you can know if it's for you or not for you that's my advice never really shut stuff down immediately always try it out and see you know if it's something for you yeah yesterday i went and i got material for my whoop, i just touched my nose ring Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is the matte finish one um, in rich chocolate. I'm going to be using it in my areas that I'm going to be highlighting. I'm going to be making a stop guys to pack my braces you guys are going to follow me to go and do that so i just highlighted with the covergirl vitalist healthy powder this is something very hard to find in jamaica um i first bought this when i was in um was it galveston no i bought it when i was in wildwood in new jersey um in 2019 and um i have not let it go since i love how it sets my under eye um, and I just love the yellow undertone that it has um, for highlighting, uh, setting my highlights. So that's what I use, and I use it in 745 Warm Beige. All right, I'm going to be bronzing back my face, just bringing back the colors to my face with um, the Milani Earth Glow Pressed Powder in 05. Um, I, I swear by this product, actually. Look at the difference with this side of my face 
versus this side, all right? You can see the side that look flat. It just look. Look at this side versus this side just look kind of flat all right guys so I just put some concealer on my eyelids and I'm ready to go in um, to the palette that I'm very 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 excited about I think I'm going to go in with something a little lighter so I can bring up the colors a little more I'm going to go in with fun from LA Pro Girl Oh, and it has such a nice mirror. I didn't even recognize I could have had this in the mirror all along. So bad. I love that. Absolutely love a, a, um, a palette with, with a mirror. I know everybody loves that because it's like they can get to do everything. Like one place in Afia look and uh, you know, like I'm sure everybody loves that. Everybody loves that mirror. Go in with a uh, a fluffy brush with the color sassy I'm gonna go in with sassy definitely this color right here there's a lot of fallout so I gotta be careful let's see how that deposit Wow that's pigmented all right so I'm just gonna take my time and build this up uh, wow, one dip already. And y'all see that? Ooh, child, let me zoom in a little more for y'all, niggas. Child. Ah. Love that for me and Gaia. I love that it's soft, it's not too much, but it's very pigmented because it's only one dip and I don't even need to go in anymore. Munchkin is doing it for me, to be honest. Love this. Some munchkin. Love the munchkin. I love it as a transitional color. Transitional color is what you use um, in between the brow bone and the crease. So you can see the black is in the crease, um, the munchkin is in the middle, and then you see the brow bone raw here. Um, and I'm I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. Now for the eyelid, hmm, I think I definitely want to use one of the pigments. I think I want to go with Unleashed because I think it kind of match back with the color um, Munchkin. I'm gonna take Fawn. I really like how Ellie Girl um, products, I like how they dry down. All right, let's go in with Divine. This is a, um, a mild pink um pinky creamy shimmery color i'm going to go in hope i don't regret this that's pretty i'm going to top it off with wild i'm gonna dip my finger in is with the wild loose pigment on top this is just with the divine eyeshadow so you guys can see the difference obviously I'm gonna fix it up so I did my eyes off camera I'm really not liking how this looks because I don't have on any um lashes <laughs> but I'm giving my lashes a break so there's that um, so I'm going to use this side and comb up the brushes in the direction that I want them to and then I'm going to be using this angled brush that they gave me to um, put the hairs in the direction to um, put the color in brows are combed upwards and now one thing I love about the packaging as well it also has a camera your more camera it also has a mirror
I'm going to be using the same brush to conceal around the eyebrows. So just to set my brows, the end of this one especially, I'm going to be using Queen, which is this color here. Comb out the hair in the position. Going to be using soul sister that's one of the glitters that they have into my inner corner just to brighten the eyes up a little bit i'm going to be doing it with this pencil here because definitely going to be using this just to pop the face because you know i'm not really use nothing on it They smell so good and they go on so smooth what i love most about it is the applicator because it just folds and bends into your lips this is just so pigmented it is ridiculous wow wow i love this Wow. Okay, my ortho is going to kill me. It's 4 11, and my brace is tiny. An appointment was at 4. Whew, wow, I love this lip. Oh my god. All right, so we're going to be doing a wear test with the lip. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to let my ortho do um, my tightening with it, but um, yeah. It is just so beautiful. Ooh, ha! All right, bye. Miss who come? So I'm back in studio. This is how the lip wore today. Um, it it feels like a normal lip lip liquid lipstick. It was very hard to come off. I even asked the guy who tightened my braces if it came off on his gloves, and he said no. It's just a little crack, which is from the side. I think he was on this side, yeah, and that's that's the side that didn't say you know piece side chip off and I'm out, which is pretty normal there were parts times when i had to be like spitting out some parts but it is normal especially like you know if you're drinking or eating and that's exactly what i was doing today i had Popeyes, so this is how it looks so you know me i eat to the middle i gotta go that's a giving So overall, I really like, like this lippy. Um, I'm going to switch to the other one in my next video. So yeah, you guys should just go on over to the next video. I'm gonna have the same um, face. I said before, it is not possible for me to leave in the timeline that you have given, but I, along with my equipment, will be leaving on Sunday, and this is not negotiable. And I must say no, my bad. But she can't tell me say me for leave out in her ex time. She can't tell me when she give me notice. She supposed to at least give me one month notice. I that my, my liar say. I'm only in her place one month. And her and her still cause she ignorant her head as she not have no sense. And everything. Probably gonna spruce up my hair a little bit, change a little the lip, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, back again. Um I just decided to pop in and do another look with the palette because I just never felt satisfied. I, thought, I just never felt satisfied. You know what I mean? So.
So I'm gonna go back in this bomb palette because I'm just excited to try some more colors. So I laminated my eyebrows. So you know, they're very easy to comb, right? You just comb and you're good. I'm not having no ends. Don't even. So you see the difference? Thin eyebrows versus laminated eyebrows. When you comb it up guys, with this product in there, it's not going nowhere, nowhere. Thank you Gael for um, sending your lov lovely products. I love your eyeshadow palette and the, the shimmers that you also gave me. So big up to you guys. All the best with your company and your products. Yeah, my teeth are kind of hurt me now. Even my, you know, some I'll change to <laughs> the same teal color like the lippy. Yep, it's a vibe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You didn't have to, but you did. And I'm grateful. I'll see you guys in my next video.